Welcome everyone. This is Double Back with you. I hope everybody's had a great Friday. Uh, I have until I had to go sit in the lawyer's office. I sold a house today. And investment group out of California bought it and had a lot of extra paperwork to sign. Took forever to read all that fine print and try to make sense of it. Usually it's just a quick closing in and out and you're done. Pick up the money and say thank you. But not today. But we're back on my Pure Wax series. Uh, uh, junk Wax is uh, from 88 to about 95. Top stopped in 92. And some of the other ones went to 95. But we've been starting off with Don Russ. The last two weeks we've done 88 and 89. Today we're really diving deep into Junk Wax. We got 90 Don Russ. This is about as junk wax as you can get unless you go to probably 91 Fleer. But hopefully we'll find some Hall of Famers in here. We'll get some of these out. It's been a while since I opened these up. I opened a couple packs up New Year's Eve, I think. But that's about the last time I ain't opened a box up in a while. Got quite a few boxes. Here we go. Get these going. Puzzle pieces. We'll set those set. Hey, we started off with Mr. Bo Jackson. Diamond Kings. Nice. A checklist. Kevin Mitchell. We'll just hit the highlights. If not, we'll be here all night. There's Carl Yusimski. That's the puzzle piece this year. For 1990. Uh, anybody out there got a big plan for the weekend? I just got a... My oldest granddaughter is graduating this year, and we got a party to go to. First one to graduate. And got uh, six more behind her and another one on the way. Ed Whitten, a Diamond King. Mr. Tony Gwynn, Mr. Padre. There's another Hall of Famer. The time 90 come around when these come out, everybody knew they were way overprinted. They got away with it in 88 and somewhat in 89, but by 90, everybody them figured they was really overprinting and I think you could buy a box of these for about $20, brand new, $17. Dave Henderson. Just, to, I mean, if you didn't buy them when they first come out, if you just waited a month or so and the price just bottomed out on these things. Ellis Berg starts us off with this pack. Lou Whitaker, Diamond King, Chris Sabo. I think he ran a uh, rookie of the year in 87. And he come out uh, 89. 89 was his first year, I think. 88. One of the 88. Jimmy Key was a real good pitcher. Brady Brooker, Mike Felcher. Never panned out, I don't think. I don't remember him. Go. Get that another puzzle piece, Mr. Dave Justice. Wade Boggs, what a hitter, all star. Pepper that uh, be a uh, green monster in Boston. Mark Lemke, brave second baseman of the great teams in the 90s. Ozzy Smith, the wizard. There we go. And Jim uh, DeShells, Diamond King. Mark McGuire. Well, it's a way off center, but that's a nice car to him. Not a Hall of Famer, but really good player.
Raphael uh, Balliard. For, he was with Pittsburgh before he come over to the Braves. Great defensive player. Couldn't hit very good, but he could. He was a great shortstop. Will Clark, good a good player. Mike uh, Babelchi, Diamond King, and somebody got turned sideways, upside down. Dale Murray, Murphy, Dale Murphy. Not a Hall of Famer, but I think he should be. Well. Okay, here we go. Mark McGuire. Again. Rafael Primero. Only player with 500 home runs, 3,000 hits, not in the hall, but he got caught telling a little story to Congress. Dodd Manley should be in the hall. Roger Clements. A good player, but my personal opinion, uh, until him and Bond serve some serious time, out of the hall 20 30 years down the road put them in got to be punishment for what they've done if you're going to punish Pete rose for 30 something years and what they've done was a whole lot worse tommy her diamond king ryan sandberg there we go hall of famer rhino bo jackson not a Hall of Famer, but probably one of the greatest athletes to ever live. Get these puzzle pieces out of the way. Gerald Clark. Eric Davis had some good years. Ed Winston. 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 Diamond King. Paul Cerrito was a good player. Look at these, just brings back a lot of memories right in here. A lot of these players. Ruben Sierra, Kurt Sherling should be in the hall. He's not because of politics, I guess. Alan Tremble. Great shortstop. Goose Gossage. There you go. He's a Hall of Famer. Got quite a few Hall of Famers in this right in here. And a lot of them that's on the verge of it. Mike Schillings, Bonds, uh, Clements, McGuire, Sosa. Mike Smith. One of the greatest third basemen to ever play the game. Jack Morris, a big time pitcher. Hall of Famer. Kirby Puckett. Nolan Ryan, one of the greatest pitchers, if not the greatest, I think. Oh, well, got his Diamond Kings and his regular card back to back. Here's a, a lot of era cards in this, too. There are quite a few. They ain't really worth nothing because even if it's an era, it was overprinted so bad. The biggest area has probably got uh, Tom Glavin on it, and it says John Smokes. That's probably the biggest era card in here. Boy, got enough Eric Davis and Ed Winston cards. Jerry Reed starts us off here. Joe Oliver was a pretty good catcher for the world champion uh, Cincinnati Reds in 1990. In 1990, uh, the uh, excuse me, Ray uh, the Reds was in first place from start to finish from day one. I think they started off the season nine and zero. Oh. Fernando Valenzuela had quite a few good years for the Dodgers. OK, 
Okay, Jim DeSales, Diamond King. Oh, not finding the big error card of the Tom Glavin John Smokes. Uh, there's Rhino, Ryan Sandberg, Harold Johnson, Kevin Mitchell, Diamond King, had quite a few good years. There's Bo Jackson, uh, that's his MVP card. Tony Gwynn, Mr. Padre, Danny Jackson, had some good years. Yeah, I'm getting a late start recording this. I wanted to do it last night, but I got busy uh, with paperwork. Looked up, and it was about 1.30 in the morning. And I said, no, I'm not going to record this because I wanted to go out earlier today, and then I was going to do it earlier. And time slipped up on me again because I was at the lawyer's office, Carlton Fisk, Hall of Fame catcher. Before I knew it, where to go, it was. I'm recording this about a little after 10. Wade Boggs. Get the rest of these out here. It just seems like time just slips away before you know it. Come on, now we can get some, we'll pull that one good card out of here. Here's Mark Grace. Really good player. For the Cubs, first baseman. Ozzie Guillen was a good player. Oh, there he goes right here. He set these back over here. I had to wait until I get a box and put them in. I got quite a few of these cards open, so I don't know if my 5,000 count box is full yet or not. There's Ken Griffey Jr. I think this is, uh, I don't know if Don Russ is his rookie year or not. I think, uh, I think 89 Don Russ was, but we'll set him over to the side. Probably the best player to come out of the, uh, these years. Is there's Randy Johnson, big unit, another Hall of Famer. We had so many good players come out from late 80s to early 90s. It's hard to say which is the greatest. My vote is Griffey. I mean, he was a true five star player. The rest of them wasn't. Bonds was not a five star player, had an okay arm, he could run when he was younger. You know, he was pretty good there. <clears throat> he was a decent fielder. Griffey was a great fielder and had a great arm. And Griffey had the, uh, probably the most beautiful swing ever, I think, in my opinion. It just seemed like he swung it just effortlessly. Just, just like he flicked a bat and it was around. Beautiful swing him and go back and look at Ted Williams some of the old tape. They basically had the same uh swing. John Smokes, Diamond King. There we go. Mr. Tom Glavin. Bo Diaz. Finishes us off there. Jeff Treadway, John Smiley, Alex Sanchez is his rated rookie, Harold Baines, Harold Johnson, Mike Smith again, George Bell, Ryan Smith, Diamond King card, Ken Phillips, Well, I hate springtime. Got washed out everywhere. Come home and had to spray out three or four red wasp nest. It seemed like they wasn't there just the other day and turned around. And they, my wife told me that she was out there with my grandson out and said there was foreman and went out there and they didn't 
Big Nest. Brian Downing and big red wasps with the black stripes across them. One that will knock you on your butt. I had one a couple years ago hit me right in between the eyes. And it, I've never been hit that hard in my life, even by another man. And I mean, it knocked me across the room when he come in a window. Here's John Smiley Diamond King card. Steve Avery's rookie card. Put that over the side. Braves player. Had everything going. It's like I flipped a switch and he just couldn't pitch no more. A lot of pitching. Everything's a lot of a lot more mental than everybody. You know, a lot of people give the credit for. Omar Vizquel. There's Carlton Fist card. Hall of Famer. Yep, nothing in there. Oh, Otis Nixon. Had a good career, you know, with the Braves, going for the Braves and got in some trouble for stuff he shouldn't have been doing. Bobby Bonilla. Still getting paid after all these years. Still, contract, still getting paid. I come upstairs, had the AC cut up to 76 up here and pretty warm. I turned the air down while I'm doing this, but it's still warm in this room. Oil can Boyd. Mark Lemsky again. Jim DeShells, Diamond King card. Well, I find a lot of good stuff and not even too many Hall of Famers in this box. But, I mean, you could go through four or five boxes and not find very many. Then opened up two or three and then that's all you get is Hall of Famers. Tommy Hurd, Diamond King card. Down the side there. Dave Winfield, there we go. Hall of Famer. We're getting on through here. There's not too many packs left to go. One thing about it, when you get 90 Don Rust or something like that, you ain't got to worry about nobody searching them. Because there ain't really anything in here worth anything. Bud Black, Tim Cruz. Just calling out some names I remember. Larry Walker, there we go. I think that's his rookie card. <clears throat> Mr. Larry Walker, Hall of Famer. I think he deserves to be in. He got the numbers to be in. <clears throat> uh, Willie Randolph, Diamond King. Just don't look right if he ain't in a Yankee uniform. Well, nothing there. We're down, I think, five packs to go. Then next week we'll be doing 91. And then 92. They split 92 up into two series, so we'll take one each week. Then probably go to uh, Fleer. We can see that 91 Fleer, that bright, bright yellow. If you're a little sleepy and I'll just look at them cards, that'll wake you up. Oh, I ain't having very good luck here. Dennis Lamp, Jeff Robinson, Mark Williamson, Kelly Gruber, really good third baseman. Willie McGee, another really good player. Do it all, just about steal bases. Walk, get hits, hit you a few home runs. Nothing like today's. Carly Shimsky, Kelly Moore, 
I mean, Kelly Mann, Mann rookie rated rookie. I don't didn't do too good for the Braves, I don't think. Don't remember him anyway. But I'm getting old, and my memory's going so. Vaughn Hayes, some pretty good years. Mike uh, Sharpinson, Mel Hall, Billy Swift, Pat Borders, Ozzy Gian Diamond King card, Al Lester. Well, two packs to go. There we go. Ron Robinson. Charlie Hayes, really good third baseman. Alex Sanchez, Wallace Johnson. Jim Archer in our last pack. See what we can get here. Maybe we'll pull that air card with uh, Smokes and Glavin. Dave Stewart, Eric Shaw, Ron, yeah, about the same pack as that last one. There we go. Well, that's 1990 Don Russ, at the height of uh, Junk Wax. Probably the most produced cards ever in the 1990s from all of them, I think. But let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. I do appreciate all your comments. I'm slowly catching up on all of them, even the back ones. Like I say, just springtime's really uh, <clears throat> hectic for me, and it's fast-paced. Everybody's coming out of winter here, and it done got hot, and everybody's hollering for that AC to be fit working. It's not run all winter, so they all got to be serviced, and always something. They don't care too. I don't hear this much problems in the winter time, but springtime, everybody hollers for a, a, a AC. Well, I do appreciate you watching. And if you subscribed, I do appreciate everyone. I really thank you. And uh, hopefully we'll be back with you tomorrow on my Back in Time series. I've not decided what we're going to do yet, but we'll do something. Until then, be safe out there and may God protect you and your family. This is Double. I'm out.